Good afternoon and welcome to another little uh, drill and demo session and I hope you are all doing well whether you are at home or back to work hope you continue to stay safe um, so today I'm just going to uh, <clears throat> show you drill 42 which is um, about abstraction edges and at the end at the uh, heart of this exercise and drill is to remind ourselves the ability to see uh, between light and dark and the many shades of grey as well. Alright, so I'm just going to now um, show you. So this is Drew 42. Um, today we just need <clears throat> some soft pencils. So I've got a couple of 6B's uh, pencil. Uh, I've got a few white um, <clears throat> tools as well which I'll show you so the concept of um, what we're exploring today is um, so let me just start with illustration so if I ask you to find a black cat in a black room can you, can you find a black cat in a black room? most of us will say no not really how can I see a black cat in a black room? But if I were to ask you to find a white cat in a black room, you probably can see the white cat very clearly. And that's the power of um, the ability to see light and dark. And you may hear words like contrast or tone, or sometimes people say tonal value. So they all really refer to how um, light or dark we are able to see with our eyes and um, <clears throat> also again you probably will know by now that our world is not entirely just black and white there are a lot of shades that are in between and some of us are also very familiar that uh, when we are uh, drawing and sketching we want to be able to perceive really light and really dark so I'm using my uh, soft uh, pencil so this is my uh, black wing pencil which I use a lot of it's really soft and also I'm I'm gonna be drawing on hot press uh, watercolor paper because it's quite smooth so it's really gonna be easy for me to shape so um, very dark very light okay so very dark and very light and hopefully you can see um, contrast somewhere in the middle Right, so we got this the uh, mid value. Unfortunately, as we uh, grow older, our eyes are going to be seeing less and less of this uh, middle value. Uh, we <clears throat> are, are going to see more in the light and dark. So therefore, you find that you know a lot of the, our elderly parents are <clears throat> able to perceive uh, shapes that are in high contrast. Right, um, if you are able to do a three tone scale, then perhaps at your own time you can challenge yourself okay um, practice so I uh, do this quite often so I sharpen my ability to um, see again five um, value tone scales I've been playing the uh, musical scale which will, you will see very light and to the very dark all right so this is uh, as dark as my pens will allow me to go All right, and then remember we have the mid value that we found earlier. Hopefully you can find the mid value. And then lastly, we have the in-between values. So this comes with practice. So don't worry, you know, the first time you do it, the gradation may not okay, be as apparent. I'm also learning how to uh, regulate the pressure exerted by my hand and transfer through the pencil so that we can see a five tone scale all right so <clears throat> it's good to practice this over and over again so that you're very sensitive to um, the the tonal value shifts all right so just i showed you um this drill all right where you can see that there are a lot of light dark and uh, medium values. So I'm going to help you uh, understand this concept through this very simple drill, all right, so that you can um, apply it to your own work. 
you need a eraser, a soft one, and make sure the eraser is uh, clean. So if it's not quite clean, you can um, try erasing uh, on a, on your table or on a piece of paper so you get rid of all the um, previous uh, graphite left on your eraser. Okay. So continuing with what we learned earlier about um, the black cat in the black room. I'm just going to start shading. So this is an abstract exercise, so we're not trying to uh, make a sketch per se. I'm just going to start to cover an area with um, a mid value, so somewhere in between. Okay, and then we'll start to build up. So once you have a fairly big area, um, we will pause. Okay, we'll pick up our eraser. And we'll try to see if we can create a lighter shape within it. So we're going to use the eraser to lift. Now you notice the moment I start to lift okay, away from the paper, you start to see that this uh, shape becomes very apparent, isn't it? Okay. Now to make this shape even apparent, similar concept to the white cat in the black room, I'm just going to make a slightly darker shape next to it. Okay, you see how this white shape becomes even more and more apparent because your eyes are going to gravitate between this very sudden shift between very light and very dark. Okay, so let's continue to play. Okay, so let's see if we can um, make another dark shape next to it. So you can see how the shapes are playing against each other to uh, push some of the shapes back forward and backwards. And also, it um, sort of helped you with your depth, okay, perception, whether you can see, um, <coughs> perceive things that are further away from you or, you know, create a sense of illusion. So let's continue. Now, let me show you what happens when we do the opposite. So now we have a mid value. What if you added, so we have two and three, what if you added three to it? So that we can start to compare. So you'll find the <clears throat> area of high contrast between very light and very dark and not so light against dark. You can see that the shapes are not on the same plane. You may think that this shape may be a little bit further behind. The edges are also not as easily perceivable. So uh, uh, the ability to um, perceive the edge is quite important to uh, to how much information you're getting as well. So let's continue to play, okay? And let's see if we can start to lift. So we just oh, alternate between light and dark and the medium value. Now you notice when the dark shape goes out and meets the light shape around it, you can see this portion so much better than here where the very dark and the medium um, shapes are just side by side. Okay, let's continue. I'm going to just go a little bit darker straight away. And then again, I can use my eraser Can do another shape and lift. So again, I'm playing light and dark against each other. One of the drills that you learned uh, previously was about gradations. It's also going to apply here where you are moving from light to very dark. You can see how and that's going to help us with a sense of uh, depth. So 
So I'm just placing um, different value shapes next to each other to see okay, how they play off. I'm not making any specific drawing. So this is just an abstract exercise. you can see also here the transition between very light and very dark becomes very abrupt uh, you can see you know a distinct change in um, the angle of the surface but if you want to um, make this less distinct you can soften it a little bit so this is another drill that we learned previously and you can see how as we blend it okay the shapes get pushed back a little bit more as well okay so you can have very light shapes within very dark shapes Alright, so hopefully this is something useful that you can um, play with. Alright, so eventually you can work up to a 5 value skill after you've uh, tried the 3 value skill. Alright, a couple more lifts. So now what you want to do is uh, to think about where you do the, the, <coughs> the light bits so that they're not all over the place, okay? So we can make increases. So you can see how it calls attention to that white shape. Okay, so if we have too many of that um, white shapes all, all over the place. Okay, I'll just show you like this. If we have too many white shapes, okay, then there's really no <coughs> focus. So what you can do is, now you can see the lot of white shapes. So what you can do is to maybe tone, okay, and push some of the white shapes back. Right, so you're orchestrating where you want the eyes to go towards. You can break up the white shapes. Right, so we can increase a bit of um, visual interest. Right, so there's a little bit of dominance as well. So once you um, understand this concept of uh, creating contrast, okay, and play with edges. Then, when you are on location, like for example, if you are looking at um, this uh, sketch right here, oh, sorry, this photograph right here, then we will be able to tell uh, where are the dark, where are the lights. And if you still have trouble looking at uh, where the lights and dark, you can start to squint your eyes, half close your eyes, so that you can start to see. And areas like you know the roof and the interior of the uh, shop has a really strong distinct. Um, separation between the very light and very dark same goes here as you can see the wall and the, um, the door that's half open you can look right through it's really dark so we've got quite a few of this and it makes the sketch really interesting for me all right so how do we apply you know <clears throat> what um, we've learned earlier with this very abstract exercise so here you'll find so i'm just going to probably start right about here so you can see the direct application So again, I'm just going to um, sketch and there's a white bit so you can either erase or you can let your pencil go around so that we're saving that white. So I'm just going to make a very abstract shape. So that's the interior of the shop and you can you will notice that there are uh, not as uh, light a shape next to it and then we've got a really light shape here and then we've got the edge of the roof okay and then we've got some more mid-tone shapes
I think you've made the shapes too dark, you can always lift a little bit so there's something to see. Okay, and then there is some light bits here. We can also use our eraser to lift. Okay. bit of a shadow here okay and then roof so that's what I will see in my mind sometimes I do um, this as a warm-up okay, especially if I'm Try to map out where the light and the dark areas are. Okay, and then we've got the three windows above as well. So again, we can do it as a big shape. And then we can erase frame of the window. But it's still not quite giving me the sense of depth and I know this this is a really dark shape so we, what we can do is to go in again so you can see how quickly you get a sense of depth Right, so hopefully that's going to give you an idea of how um, we can transfer late this exercise to an actual sketch so that you are able to see that value. And one last thing I'd like to show you is um, because I'm using um, a Faber Castell um, soluble graphite, we can also soften okay, and make some of these shapes even darker. So you notice how that is going to bring out a sense of the light coming into okay, the shop so there's a fun thing about using a water soluble graphite okay to express light and dark So you can see from what we've started with the white cat in the black room we talk about value scale 3 as a um, start and then you can develop to 5 even a 10 tone scale and then think about okay playing with the eraser with um, the pencils or sort or you know graphite so that you can start to lift to see the light and the dark how they play out against each other where you want to have depth where do you want to have emphasis? Where do you want it to be quieter, softer? And then how that applies to you know our urban sketching when we're outdoors, whether we are able to you know see the light and the dark and quickly put it down on paper. Alright, so I hope you'll find this um exercise useful. Let me know how um you think and when you uh, have a go at it and just hopefully you will enjoy um this exercise. So have a great day, stay well and hope to see you very soon.